Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new fighter showcase. Today, we will be paying our respects to the fight of the year in 2022. And that is, of course, Yiri Prohashka versus Glover Teixeira. My opponent is going with Glover Teixeira. What I'm actually going to do with this fighter showcase is I'm going to use uh, two of those fighters. I'm going to use Glover and I'm going to use uh, Yiri Prohashka. First fighter I'm using is Yiri Prohashka. After this, I'm going to try to get a fight with Glover, and that's going to be it. So, let's get it. See how this one plays out. Thank you. I think it's... Uh... I'm going to try to see how I can uh, how I can use Mr. Prohashka right here. He, he is not someone that I am very comfortable using if i'm being honest with you guys he feels a bit sluggish to me on the feet feels a bit slow <laughs> ouch nope sit back down um you guys have asked me how i do that when you get dropped and you want to sit back down you want to get back on the ground and you don't want to stand up all you have to do is hold down your left and your right stick all right that's it it is that simple so hold both sticks down, and your fighter is going to stay down. I'm trying to see if I can land a spinning back fist. just want to throw Yiri Prohashka style attacks. Let's see. A kick. What's, dude, the way it keeps whiffing, bro. <laughs> Damn, this Glover is not bad. There we go. Got a body. We've got him pinned right now. Sit him down. Let him up. Let him up. Nice. Very good. That is that. that that's how you uh, get yourself away from the cage. Side step. Front kick to the body. And this dude is fighting back with his back against the cage right there. I like it. But yeah, man, it was a solid fight, bro. Rocked. It was a solid fight. And of course, we all know how that one ended. Glover Teixeira got submitted. Like a modified rear naked choke. It wasn't like a technically correct rear naked choke. But man. When uh, when a man is behind you with his hands, with his arm around your neck, and you're tired, and you've had a war with the man, and you're battered, and you're bruised, and you're breathing heavy, you know what I mean? You you're already exhausted. You, you can barely get air in, bro. It doesn't take much. It really does not take much. A lot of people will will never understand <laughs> how grave it feels when someone is choking you, man. It. The feeling of dread is hard. It's it's impossible to explain unless you experience it. Ouch! Of course, there were some other fights that were nominated. I believe the number one, uh, the, well, the second second fight was uh, Hamza Chimaya versus Gilbert versus Gilbert Burns. And then it was uh, Dustin Poirier versus Mike Chandler. That was that, that was the third one. I was really considering doing all of them, but I also don't want to spend too much time on this series. We had some solid, solid fights in 2022, and now it's about to end. Rocked. It's a pity that Yuri Prohashka had to uh, vacate the vacate the title, and then of course, I mean, <laughs> what the heck is going on now? Oh my God! Hold on, let's back up a little bit, dude. It is laggy as God knows what now. Hey man, hold on, hold on. It's still lagging. Relax a moment. Well, he's going to fight through it. 
Because my opponent is uh, definitely not waiting. You know what will be interesting? If he, if he thinks I caused the lag and I only did it so I can get a break. And so he's thinking to himself, yeah, I'm not going to let this guy get a break. I'm going to go get him. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, yo, that was a suspicious lag spike. And now you're trying to push the pace. Don't do that. Totally forgot about that spinning elbow, but ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's it, man. That should be it. That should be it. That was deadly. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Very good one. Very good. Very good. Let me know in the comment section how you guys expected the fight to go. Did you did you think it was going to be the war that it ended up being? Glover versus uh, Yuri Prohashka? Or did you guys think that Prohashka was going to get Glover out of there? Like a lot of people thought. I think to this day a lot of people really under, underestimate Glover Teixeira's fighting ability just because he's a bit older, right? A man can fight, make no mistake. Make no mistake about that. Alright, uh... Let's move on. So, literally a few hours later. <laughs> what is the SpongeBob meme? A few hours later. Yeah. A few hours later. Here we go. Glover to Shera. We're fighting Jan Wachowicz. Let's get it. Okay. Nice. Leg kick right there. Oh my gosh. Well, that's weird. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Well, this fight is starting off pretty shitty. We're shitty for me. Fantastic for him. It's always good to draw blur. No, not draw blur. To draw blood early. Always good. Damn, man. I am getting out struck right now. This dude's not bad. See, this, this right here is where a lot of people will start shooting and make it very obvious that they have a plan because my plan is to get this man to the ground we have to grapple with Glover we absolutely have to gra grapple with Glover so I will take him down but but a lot of people make the mistake of making it clearly obvious that they're panic wrestling got him like when they start getting out struck they get rocked a few times immediately they start shooting right but all you do Especially if it's a player that knows what he's doing. If it's a good player, all you do is you just heighten his confidence. You're like, ha ha ha. Now you're shooting, huh? And then he, he, he pretty much starts looking at you as someone who can't strike. It's like, I have, oh, I have the advantage on the, on the feet. So now you want to try to take me down. And that emboldens your striking. And bro. In UFC 4, man, you don't want people striking you boldly, bro. You you want you want doubt in them. You want them to second guess what they're doing. That's your best chance. So I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna shoot right now because that's that would be on uh, me admitting defeat on the feet, and that's absolutely not what I'm going to do. I will rock him a few times on the feet before I get him down. 
We've got five rounds to work. I am not in a hurry. There we go. That was his round, 100%. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Thank you. Most dangerous thing about his striking is he's doing a very good job of see the head movement? Yeah, it's a very educated head movement style. There's a lot of instinctual things with this game, right? A lot of those instincts comes from what you yourself will typically do, right? And so you start to anticipate things that your opponent will do. Like right there, he was thinking I was going to throw a left hook because, because I was going to. It's like, you know what I mean? A lot of the predictions in this game, it, it's... There's nothing too special about it besides just experience, man. You play long enough, you start to, uh... You play long enough, you, you can start to recognize threats even before it happens. Kind of like in, you know, in jujitsu, which is what I like to use as my analogy. Oh, right, oh, 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 see, see, right here, this is not good for him. This is bad. This is bad. Me trapping you against the, against the cage right here, this is just bad news for you, bro. Yeah, this is bad news for you. You better get out of here. All right, start going to the body. There we go. I'm trying to just keep him completely spinned here. I want him to make a mistake and try to tee off on me so I can pull counter him. Go. I don't want him to escape. There we go. No, 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 stay back there. Beautiful. There we go. Pull, pull. Yeah, I saw that pull counter you were going for. Good. Very good. So now, now that I've established to him that I am a threat on the feet, I'm going to start looking for opportunities to take him down now. But, like, he, he needs to know. Like, it needs to be clear that, you know, just because I'm using Glover does, does not mean that I can't do what I just did right now. Let's see how he adjusts. Oh, okay. So now he's getting more aggressive. Oh shit! This is this is what I was hoping he wouldn't do. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's tee off, tee off. Yeah, right back where I want you. There we go. Good. All right, see if we can toss him. There we go. All right. We're going to pin him. Hold on. Hold on. You need to get out of there. Let's go. Do something. Do something. Posture. There we go. Deny that. Deny that. Yeah, I am going to seriously pin you. I am not letting you up. Go 
He's going to go right. Pre-deny that. There it is. That's clean. Clean pre-deny. He's probably going to go right again. No, nah, he went left. Okay, okay. Deny that. There we go. <laughs> I won't blame you. I do not blame you one bit. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. I think that was uh I think that was a good one. That was a really really good one to end it on. Solid striking battle early on. Found our groove. Took him down, dumped him, pinned him, ground and pound, got him out of there. Clean work. I am absolutely satisfied with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, just trying to showcase the best fight the fighters involved in the best fight of 2022 Glover Teixeira and Yuri Prohashka if you enjoyed the video definitely leave a like on it it always helps out the channel and I will see you guys later with a brand new one as always stay safe peace out have a good one boys